The changing from summer to fall can be reflective and motivating to continue our daily spot check inventory to continue growing in the direction of our higher power. We are either going toward God or we are going toward a drink. F. Scott Fitzgerald said, First you take a drink, then the drink takes a drink, then the drink takes you. Liquor is but a symptom. When we remove the alcohol, all that remains is the ism. And that can be a frightening realization. With a higher power, we get rid of the causes and conditions to live a happy, sober life. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. October 23rd, what we know best. Shoemaker, stick to thy last. Better do one thing supremely well than many badly. This is the central theme of this tradition. 5. Around it, our society gathers in unity. The very life of our fellowship requires the preservation of this principle. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 150. The survival of Alcoholics Anonymous depends on unity. What would happen if a group decided to become an employment agency, a treatment center, or a social service agency? Too much specialization leads to no specialization, to frittering of efforts, and finally to decline. I have the qualifications to share my sufferings and my way of recovery with the newcomer. Conformity to AA's primary purpose ensures the safety of the wonderful gift of sobriety. So my responsibility is enormous. The life of millions of alcoholics is closely tied to my competence in carrying the message to the still-suffering alcoholic. Each group has but one primary purpose, to carry the message to the alcoholic who still suffers. Unity, the state of being one. Alcoholics Anonymous is the only organization that succeeds in practicing socialism for the good of all. We live in a virtuous circle. We stay sober and happy by helping others, and they do the same by being helped, and then they help their newcomers, and on and on and on. We have unity, we are all the same, and together we are one. Separately we may fail, but together we triumph. The often quoted, I get drunk, we stay sober, resonates with real alcoholics because we tried everything before, we found AA and failed until we found the WE program of Alcoholics Anonymous. The foreword to the first edition in 1939 states, We of Alcoholics Anonymous are more than 100 men and women who have recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. To show other alcoholics precisely how we have recovered is the main purpose of this book. Alcoholics Anonymous doesn't have a hierarchy of executives that tell members what they must do. We don't have a profit motive to inspire us to cut corners or to be ruthless in the business world and be unkind to get bottom line results. Our only hope is to see as many alcoholics recover from our malady that will kill us if not properly dealt with. We have a design for living that can benefit everyone, the drunk and the non-alcoholic. The spiritual principles lead to the promised spiritual awakening as the result of working the AA steps. The point is to lose our selfishness and transform our thinking and behaving into becoming selfless. While members may have their expertise in different fields outside the rooms, inside the program we focus on our experience, strength, and hope in regards to our alcoholic journey from active to recovered. We share about what it was like, what happened, and what it is like now. The true transformation. We carry the message of recovery as outlined in the first 164 pages of the big book. We share how we apply the principles successfully 
to be happy, joyous, and free. Mere abstinence is not enough. We get so much more as a surprise bonus as we came for our drinking and stay for our thinking. We get right-minded. We feel the nearness of our Creator, valuing our new unexpected life of service to others as the means of staying connected to our higher power and staying sober at the same time. Our lives are uncomplicated when we stay on the AA beam, when we pray, meditate, and look for ways to be useful to others. The responsibility statement of AA, I am responsible. When anyone anywhere reaches out for help, I want the hand of AA always to be there. And for that, I am responsible. October 23rd, what we know best. Shoemaker, stick to thy last. Better do one thing supremely well than many badly. This is the central theme of this tradition. 5. Around it our society gathers in unity. The very life of our fellowship requires the preservation of this principle. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 150. The survival of Alcoholics Anonymous depends on unity. What would happen if a group decided to become an employment agency, a treatment center, or a social service agency. Too much specialization leads to no specialization, to frittering of efforts, and finally to decline. I have the qualifications to share my sufferings and my way of recovery with the newcomer. Conformity to AA's primary purpose ensures the safety of the wonderful gift of sobriety. So my responsibility is enormous. The life of millions of alcoholics is closely tied to my competence in carrying the message to the still-suffering alcoholic. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.